député de Mégantic, les rares. Ouais! Madame la Présidente, conseil... Work together. That should be at the heart of the Prime Minister's thoughts during this very difficult time when every citizen is tired of the pandemic. Unfortunately, found out this week from the President of the Liberal Quebec Caucus that the Prime Minister chose an approach that would divide and stigmatize Canadians. The opposition and more and more Liberal members consider that the Prime Minister needs to table a plan for a return to normal life. When will we see this plan that will give hope to Canadians? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Monsieur le Président, depuis le début, nous soutenons tous les villes qui sont impactées par la convoi. We are with all cities that are impacted by the convoy. We've added resources such as RCMP officers in order to offer tactical and logistical support. And we are ready to offer more support. We've had productive meetings with the city today. We will continue to monitor the situation and pursue a strategy to get out of the pandemic through vaccination. The Honourable Member for Mégantic L'Érable. Madam Speaker, that's not a plan. For months now, Canadians have spoken out. The Prime Minister is responsible for the current situation. When Canadians suffer, when they're waiting for some hope, they can't just be content with being told that he understands them. He's the Prime Minister, and it is his responsibility. The member for Mont Royal and Parliamentary Secretary clearly expressed in this place why will the Prime Minister still refuse to present a plan to put an end to vaccination mandates and restrictions? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Uh, Madame la Présidente, uh, nous avons une stratégie et un plan. Madam Speaker, we have a clear plan. Our strategy will get us out of the pandemic through vaccinations. When it comes to measures at the border, we will continue to listen to our public officials who work in public health. This is an effective plan, but now this convoy has to leave. It's not a demonstration of respect for the law. We need to uphold the law. That's how we live here in Canada. The Honourable Member from Mégantic L'Érable. Madam Speaker, please allow me to explain to my colleague that Canadians are wondering, and they have reason to do so, what is the criteria that's going to be used to raise restriction? The vaccine mandates, working at home, PCR tests at the border. Is the Prime Minister waiting for 100% of Canadians to be vaccinated? We are the most vaccinated country in the G7. Canadians have done their part, and we're proud of it. My last question for the Prime Minister is this. What's his plan to quickly end and peacefully end the protests, which are gaining ground? Why? Because of his lack of leadership. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Health. I would like to thank my Honourable Colleague for the question. Canadians have worked hard to end the spread of COVID-19, but we have to continue our efforts. We all have a role to play in preventing its spread, and we all have to work together to get through the crisis. Public health measures like physical distancing, wearing a mask, and yes, as my honourable colleague pointed out, getting vaccinated, we are all keeping our communities safe. And I thank my members uh, opposite for ensuring that their, their communities continue to do so.